For the past decade, Apple and Samsung have been the two dominant players in the global smartphone market. But in recent years, Chinese smartphone brands have been taking a bigger piece of the pie. Outside China, Xiaomi, Oppo, and Vivo may not be household names, but those Chinese brand smartphones are powerful and affordable and are increasingly attractive to users around the world. In 2020, South Korea's Samsung earned the top spot for worldwide smartphone shipments with more than 255 million units sold. Apple came in second with 207 million phones shipped. But Chinese brands Huawei, Xiaomi, and Oppo grabbed the rest of the top five slots after each shipped over 100 million smartphones that year. One key reason Chinese-made phones have become so popular is because they come in a wide range of models. Unlike the top brands, Chinese phone companies don't just release one or two premium flagship models each year. They also make affordable low to mid-range phones with fewer premium features than the flagship models. That affordability has dramatically increased sales of Chinese smartphones, especially those that can support next generation 5G networks. While the first 5G smartphones were all premium models, Chinese manufacturers have been changing the game. In the first quarter of 2020, Xiaomi launched a 5G phone that cost as little as 300 US dollars. Other Chinese brands like Oppo, Vivo, and Honor also offered affordable 5G phones throughout the year. Apple and Samsung followed suit after seeing strong sales of the Chinese mid-range 5G phones. But those top brands also struggled to price their phones as low as their Chinese competitors. Apple introduced its first 5G iPhone in the fourth quarter of 2020. And for the first time in its history, Apple released four models to compete with the mid-range to top-end offerings from other brands. By the end of the fourth quarter of 2020, Apple had shipped 81 million iPhones, while Xiaomi, Oppo, and Vivo combined shipped over 100 million smartphones. Cheaper models are not the only reason Chinese brands are chipping away at Apple and Samsung's dominance. Flagship phones from China also have features that can go head-to-head -head with iPhones or Samsung's Galaxy S21 series. Like the market leaders, Chinese brands introduce new cameras and screen technology to their flagship models every year. But sometimes they introduce new technologies before the major brands do. When it comes to camera technology, Chinese manufacturers go the extra mile and partner with top photography brands such as Leica, Hasselblad, and Zeiss to develop a professional experience and better image quality. As for screens, most Chinese smartphones offer sharper displays with a high refresh rate, providing a smoother scrolling experience. And for the Chinese flagship models, with price tags close to what the bigger brands charge, users often choose phones with more powerful features and breakthrough designs. Chinese brands have also led the way with innovations in camera or screen technology, including foldable phones. Oppo even came up with the world's first rollable smartphone. The Oppo X 2021 is still in the concept stage and may be a long way from launching commercially, but the device illustrates how Chinese companies are trying to outpace Apple and Samsung in the race to build next-generation smartphones. Global market leader Samsung does have something in common with Chinese smartphone companies in the way it produces low- to mid-range models at competitive prices. Samsung has also pushed innovations including foldable handsets, one of the latest trends in the smartphone market. But it's not all smooth sailing. 
Growth rates for some Chinese smartphone brands have slowed after some governments raised security concerns about their devices. In 2019, the U.S. raised concerns about Huawei technologies and products being used for espionage by China. Though Washington offered no hard evidence and Huawei categorically denied the allegations, American businesses were banned from doing business with the Chinese company. As a result, Huawei phones are restricted from using Google Apps, a huge blow to the company's software ecosystem. Huawei saw a massive drop in smartphone sales outside of China in 2020. U.S. suppliers are also banned from exporting components to another Chinese smartphone maker, ZTE, after it was found to have violated sanctions by exporting technology to North Korea and Iran. Despite these hurdles, other Chinese smartphone brands continue to become more popular and have overshadowed some of the best known mobile phone brands of the past, including LG, HTC, Sony, Nokia, and Motorola. LG recently announced it is getting out of the mobile phone business altogether. Chinese smartphones have come a long way since the days when made in China devices were synonymous with being cheap and unreliable. Over the years, they've connected with savvy consumers who favor value for money phones, and as a result, are giving more established brands a run for their money.